Meanwhile, a memorial service will be held today for five members of one family who perished in the Ethiopian Airlines crash. The five, a mother, her three children and their grandmother, were residents of Kwamos village in Bahati sub-county. They were returning home from a trip to Canada when tragedy struck. DP William Ruto is expected to attend and our very own Marianne Nyambura is there. Marianne, good morning. I mean, I can already imagine the sort of ambience, the atmosphere that is there. Um, please take us, kindly take us rather through the program and how the day will look like. Good morning, Zinzi and uh, Trevor, and we are here at uh, St. Michael's Catholic Church in Kiamaina, Bahati, Nakuru County. And indeed, it's true uh, that a uh, somber mood has engulfed uh, this area, reason being that uh, this is the second memorial service in a span of a uh, week uh, for uh, five family members who perished uh, during the ill-fated Ethiopian air, air crash, uh, which happened on March 10th. Uh, the five, including Anne Karanja, uh, Car Caroline Jorogerada, Ryan Kelly, and Ruby. So so, but uh, what we know so far is that uh, the mass service is yet to begin, but uh, joining me here is the area MP, Kimani Gunji, just to tell us about uh, what is expected and what is planned ahead of today. And thank you so much for joining us. Uh, kindly tell us uh, what is the schedule like and whom do we expect to, to arrive and at what time? Well, the, the schedule of today, actually, the, our guest of honor is uh, Deputy President William Ruto. And also some governors are coming, Waitito, Babayao, and also some senators and some peace. There are going to be many people today, as we suspected, as they had uh, promised they would come, because this is a very sad thing. As you can see, uh, five families, the wife, and the daughter, and the grandchildren, three of them. It's a very sad and it's very touching in this constituency. So we are suspecting so many people, not even the people from a constituency of Bahati, but many people all over the Kenya, they are going to come, even out of the Kenya. They knew today because now, waiting for DNA for about five or six months, so we have decided, can we leave the family so that we can be able to do something they can feel a bit relieved. So we are suspecting many people and the surrounding people. We have been planning of this, we have been trying to mourn with the family, and for now, we think we are going to be okay. And it's actually the prayer for all Kenyans to try and strengthen the people who are affected, not only here, even others. We know we lost about that, a six, something like that. Forever they are, we are praying for them, even today, we shall remember them. And those we need, whatever they are, the people of those areas, to give them actually a good hand so that they can be able to feel they are really, invite, they are really handled by the Kenyans and we are mourning together, all of us as Kenyans. Yes. And are we expected, or rather uh, from uh, the schedule that we had, is that uh, the service was expected to start at 9 a.m. But uh, what do you think, uh, at what time do you think uh, it's, it's going to begin? Well, we had agreed at 9, but uh, what I would like Kenyans to also to know, you know, we squeezed this uh, program because the DP, uh, Deputy President, uh, he had a very tight schedule. He was going, I think, Kakamega or somewhere else. But we try to squeeze because you know he's a, he, he, he is a man of people. He, he is really friendly with the Bahati constituency. Always we have a problem. He has a hand to come and work with us. He has been mourning with us. He has been helping us. He has been supporting us. So I think we should not really fight with the time because we knew also they were with the president in Mombasa. They had a very tight schedule in Mombasa. So as our leader, we are suspecting the time will give us, we are going to be comfortable with it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, Zinzi and Trevor, that is the situation here. And of course, uh, we will keep an eye here and uh, wait to see what transpires. As I mentioned earlier, is that uh, this is the second uh, memorial service. Last week, uh, on Friday, a service was, a service was held at uh, Kiamaina, uh, at the family home of Njoroge. But, uh, what, when we spoke to them uh, last time, they were saying that uh, they'll hold uh, both services uh, just as a way of them uh, to get closure uh, after, uh, such, after this incident happened. 